awesome people. Thanks a lot for the intro. I'm not going to wrap today and uh, we just have 10 minutes. So I just want to make sure to give you as much value as possible. We're going to go through how to use cold email in order for you to be able to grow your business, build a predictable pipeline and also become a better person. Um, the truth is I want to go into really actionable details so you can just copy and steal uh, all the strategies that has helped us build in just three and a half years a business worth more than $150 million. So cold email is basically reaching out to people you don't know. And the reason why most of the time it doesn't work is because people use what we call the spray and pray approach, which is essentially sending thousands of messages to people they don't know with a pitch just talking about themselves, their lack of personalization, they just add like the, the first name and this thing that is gonna be super personalized and hope for responses. But the truth is like most people do this, but it doesn't work. Um, however, when you use cold email in the right way, you can actually get in touch with anyone. It's also really affordable, scalable, and at the same time, it allows you to build a predictable sales pipeline. And we're going to show you exactly how. So the ultimate goal of cold emails overall is not to sell, but it's to build relationships. Most people try to sell and try to think that, you know, like uh, they can just feed their product directly into the cold email. That's not the goal. Whenever you're sending an email or LinkedIn message to someone you don't know, your goal is to build a relationship, meaning start a conversation and eventually get a meeting with that person. But trying to sell straight away will lead you nowhere. Um, and right now, I will show you exactly my approach and we're gonna detail the templates that I've sent out to like people along those years to build relationships and grow a business um, as networking. So why networking is super important? Because basically, we all know the famous sentence, your network is your net worth. So you're going to be able with networking to meet potential uh, business partners, get intro also to potential new business, learn from people because in the end, you know, like uh, as an entrepreneur and if you're here at an event, it's also to meet with others, learn from others and expand your network and knowledge. And at the same time, get business recommendation. We all face struggles during our lives and during our like uh, business growth. And what we need sometimes is to get the right tools or uh, the right person working with us. And this is part of the recommendation process. So three steps to find uh, who to network with. The first step is basically like uh, using Self Navigator. They have like this super interesting feature on LinkedIn that allows you to do just that. So what you're gonna do is find, for example, one of your existing customers. So here I put like uh, Tammy Horwitz uh, who works uh, at Amazon. And when I find the profile, the only thing I have to do is click on the three dots on the side and click on view similar. By doing this, it will allow me to get a hundred profile that LinkedIn algorithm is just fetching to find exactly similar person to, uh, to, to your client. And you're going to get 100 profile who have similar background, similar track record, and hence who can actually be potential customers for you or potential person that you want to reach out to and exchange and learn from. So once you do that, you have 100 people. You just have to click, for example, on our uh, on our extension to just grab all those person, find their email, etc., and send them into a campaign. And once you do that, you need now to create the perfect campaign. So how exactly do you do it? And what are the different stages? And what should you write uh, when writing those cold email campaigns? First things first is pick the catchy subject line. The subject line is basically what will help you to get your email open. So it needs to trigger curiosity. It can be either casual, like lunch question mark, or a bit more specific, like for example, gross lunch. In that case, I was uh, reaching out to heads of growth. So I needed something a bit more specific that I IB tested. Ideally, whenever you run a campaign, always AB test. That way you're always learning. So. Quick tips for subject line, either you make them short and sweet, like lunch, coffee, meetings, partnerships, etc., or you make them super specific. For example, if you're going to an event, you could, you could say like, let's meet at SAS at talk first name. Second part, and this is like where most people are lazy and where most people actually don't pay attention, is the 
icebreaker or intro line or personalized sentence. The idea here, again, is to add extra personalization. Most cold emails start with, hey, first name, my name is blah, 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 and this is what I'm selling. This is totally wrong. So you're, it's wrong, and actually it's amazing that people are lazy because it gives you an awesome opportunity to stand out. How? By adding this personalization. So for example, here, I read your uh, recent LinkedIn post on how to hire top talent, first name, and I thought I'd reach out to you with a quick video because I'm currently in the same situation. This is great because it explains why you reach out. It explains that you actually like uh, read something that the person wrote, etc. And at the same time, it shows why you know like they should continue reading your email. As always, every time you write something, the end of the sentence should give enough uh, envy to the other person to continue reading. Uh, on, the, on the right side, you have another example, like uh, I read your article on crossing $1 million milestone, bootstrap. As a bootstrapper myself, I wanted to reach out with a quick video to congratulate you. Again, show personalization, show that you care, and literally like you will stand out from thousands of cold emails that we all receive and that usually suck. And to do that, it's pretty simple. You just have to go like uh, on the person's LinkedIn profile, on their blog post, on their like website, etc. Just to find this little information that will give you, you know, like uh, the, the the advantage versus and the edge versus any other cold emails. Then the second part is the video. Right now, I'm talking to you. I'm currently in South Africa. You're all around the world. Yet we feel very close. Why? because I'm actually talking and you can see my face moving, you can see my hands moving. I'm a bit Italian, so the hands move a lot. But in the end, it creates this type of relationship. It kind of breaks the ice. You see that I'm a real human and not so much uh, of uh, something fully automated. And by doing this, uh, here it's a dynamic image that will replace like the first name and the company logo that you can do in Lemlist. And basically these things will add the extra personalization that makes people want to actually click and, and go and watch your video. The video can be super simple. It's like, hey, first name, like uh, I was uh, checking your profile, love what you are doing. And uh, I just think we should connect and exchange on tips about growth. Uh, here's what I've accomplished in the last years, grow the biggest community around sales automation. Uh, I also like uh, built a multi-million dollar business and I'm always like trying to learn with other people working in growth. Very short pitch. Then, you know, it just create like this, uh, this first teaser and uh, increase the curiosity of the person. And by doing so, you're building a much better relationship. Um, again, after the video, what you want is to actually trigger an even higher interest. And for that, what I like is to add like this type of sentence. Do, we sh do you think we should go for it? Um, basically, like the person, when they read the email like this, they can't answer the question right now. But if they click on the video, they could, which means that it's another hook to kind of like force them to click on the video. Because when you see that, for everyone on earth, you're going to get your curiosity like triggers. And once you have these curiosity triggers, it's usually the best way for them to click and then start building the relationship. Um, once they click on it, they go onto a personalized landing page with the video, a bit more of personalization. And here, basically, like I did that on 32 people recently, uh, and I met 11 of them which is basically like a 33% uh, interest rate. And again, like I, I got invited to like actually other meetings with these people, making me meet even more like uh, other people just because of this networking campaign. With this campaign, I got 25 intros to relevant prospects and I closed half of them. I signed enterprise client and overall generated more than $100,000. This campaign basically took me, to be honest, maybe like an hour and a half to create in total. And this is the type of ROI you get. You should always be networking, always be learning from others, because even if you don't have anything to sell, you can learn from people, you can get business recommendation because they might know people that will need your solution or service. And down the line, you will also grow as a person because we can all learn from people we admire or we've seen online or people who are building like interest, interesting stuff. Extra tips, uh, again, always try to build relationship rather than selling, always more efficient in the long run. Bringing value is always better than closing a deal. If the person is not ready, like don't force to close a deal. It doesn't make sense. 
And again, you will get by doing this much more intros and recommendations to other people that might be uh, relevant for your business. This is the part where you just need to take a screenshot for the person on Mac. Uh, they can just hit command and then four and just take a screenshot of this. I'm smiling like this. So screenshot for your success, target the correct audience, personalize your message, send the right number of emails per day so you avoid to end up in spam and everything. Check your email reputation uh, and also follow up because money is in the follow up. We all get a lot of emails, so it's nice to uh, send like a, a few follow up down the line and also on different channels. So email, LinkedIn, etc., to maximize your chances of replies and also meet awesome people, grow your business and build something amazing. I did it in 10 minutes. This was really, really intense. Make sure to check out uh, lemlist.com. We have like tons of content around this. And if you have questions about gross entrepreneurship, bootstrapping, you have my name, Guillaume Moubesh, uh, and you can find me on LinkedIn. I'm always happy to uh, reply, you know, like uh, to messages and help more entrepreneurs. <sighs> 10 minutes, Alex. We made it. I can't, I can't believe you did it. When I first saw the slides, I think there was 100 in 10 minutes. <laughs> but if anyone could do it, I thought you could. But uh, great talk. <laughs> Thanks so much, uh, Guillaume. Uh, really appreciate you speaking again at, uh, at SaaS Talk. We'll, we'll see you soon. Thanks for the invite. Have an awesome Thanks, day. Man.